Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. My name is Nidhi Kopikar and I am joined by Kirtana Sherikar. We are excited to present to you our presentation on CAPTCHA cracking attack. So let's get started. So what is CAPTCHA? CAPTCHA stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to tell computers and humans apart. It is a technology used to determine whether a user is a human or a computer program. This is done by presenting a challenge that is easy for humans to solve but difficult for bots. Now let's see how CAPTCHA cracking attack works, was discovered and the danger it poses. CAPTCHA cracking refers to the process of breaking a CAPTCHA which is a security measure designed to prevent automated bots from accessing websites or online services. It is designed to bypass CAPTCHA authentication systems by using automated software to simulate human-like responses. These attacks exploit weaknesses in CAPTCHA algorithms or use machine learning techniques to train models that can accurately recognize and solve CAPTCHAs. One method used by attackers is to analyze the CAPTCHA images to identify patterns and features that can be used to, to differentiate between different characters or symbols. This information is then used to train machine learning models that can accurately predict the correct CAPTCHA response. Another method is to use computer vision techniques to analyze the visual and spatial properties of the CAPTCHA image. This allows the attacker to identify and isolate the relevant characters or symbols. The software can then use OCR or optical character recognition to accurately recognize and solve the CAPTCHA. One of the earliest examples of CAPTCHA cracking was in 2009 when a team of researchers from Stanford and Princeton University discovered a vulnerability in the reCAPTCHA system. This was widely used at that time. They found that, this, that the system was susceptible to a low-cost attack that could e easily be implemented by machine learning. The danger posed by CAPTCHA cracking attacks is that they allow attackers to automate activities that would otherwise require human interaction. For example, attackers could use CAPTCHA cracking techniques to create fake accounts on website or to automate spamming or phishing attacks. To mitigate the risk of CAPTCHA cracking, website owners should use strong and complex CAPTCHA systems such as image-based or audio-based CAPTCHAs and regularly update their security measures to keep up with evolving attack techniques. Now let's take a look at the implementation of the attack. We start with acquiring the data set containing CAPTCHA images. Then we process the data to suit the format to input in the neural network. Following this, we build the model and train it. Then we evaluate the results on a simple CAPTCHA image. Finally, we test the model on a real-time website. Starting with dataset collection. Our aim was to collect a sufficiently large and diverse dataset of CAPTCHA images. Basically, a dataset including various types of CAPTCHAs with different fonts, characters, and distortion levels. We got a 5 character CAPTCHA dataset on Kaggle which contained 1040 images. It contains 21 unique characters. So, here are a few example images from the dataset. After data collection, the next step is to prepare the data for training. This involves a couple of steps. We first split the data set in the categories of images and labels. Then we pre-process the CAPTCHA images to make them suitable for the RNN model. This involves converting the images to grayscale, resizing them to a fixed size, and normalizing the pixel values to a range between 0 and 1. Then we perform label encoding. Here, we convert the CAPTCHA labels into a numerical format that can be processed by the RNN model. This involves mapping each character in the CAPTCHA to a unique integer value. As a last step, 
We split the data to training and validation sets. We assign 90% data to training and 10% to validation. Now let's take a look at the overview of the deep learning model we will use for the attack. We'll be using RNN plus CTC loss for this problem. Let's understand a bit about these terms to get an idea. An RNN is a type of neural network that is capable of modeling sequential data by maintaining a hidden state that depends on the previous inputs. In the context of CAPTCHA recognition, uh, an RNN takes an input uh, as a sequence of character images and produces a sequence of character predictions. However, there is a problem when the lengths of the input and output sequences are not fixed. In the case of CAPTCHAs, the number of characters of inner CAPTCHA can vary from one CAPTCHA to another. This makes it difficult to train the RNN model using traditional classification methods, where we need the output sequence and the input sequence to be of the same length. This is where CTC loss comes in. CTC is a type of loss function used to train RNNs for sequence labeling tasks where the alignment between input and output sequences can be variable. CTC loss allows the model to produce output output sequences of variable length by ignoring blank characters and collapsing repeated characters. So this was a brief overview of the framework we used. After training, we get a validation loss of around 0 0.03, which is pretty good. We can get a visualization of the training in this graph. We can observe that the training and validation losses are converging smoothly. So here goes the demo of our project. We start by testing our model on simple CAPTCHA images from the validation set. We can see that all the images are accurately predicted. Now we will extend our work and predict the CAPTCHA on, a, on the website. So first we take the screenshot of the CAPTCHA from the website using Python and Selenium. This is the screenshot taken. Now we will input the screenshot to the model and see what it predicts. It predicts 2B827. We can observe that even the CAPTCHA is 2B827, hence it has accurately predicted the model. Now we will be inputting this to our login page. So this ends the demo and shows how the CAPTCHA cracking system works. Thank you. Now let's see about the broader lessons from the capture cracking attack and what important lessons it teaches us about the security. As shown, the, uh, it shows about the importance of the continuous evaluation and improvement and diversity and considering the human factor and proactive security and also need of the multi-layer security. Let's see a uh, defense against the capture cracking attacks. Over the years, capture cracking attacks have become more sophisticated, posing a significant threat to the security web application, as discussed. Now we can see the defenses against the capture cracking attacks. As shown, there's introduced time based and image based captures, machine learning based captures, audio based captures, hidden captures, and two factor authentication. Okay, what's next? What do you think is future of capture cracking? Let's see. Uh, despite the above mentioned defenses, capture cracking attacks continue to pose a significant threat to web applications. Therefore, uh, new researchers is required to develop more robust and reliable capture defenses. One possible uh, research dire uh, directions could be create captures that are adaptive to user behavior. These CAPTCHAs can monitor user activity and adapt the difficulty levels accordingly. Additionally, uh, the, um, we can have new forms of CAPTCHAs that we can leverage emerging technologies such as blockchain, artificial intelligence, and biometric can also be explored. 
Uh, in conclusion, capture tracking attacks are a growing threat to web application securities. Defenses such as time based or image based captures, machine learning based captures, audio based captures, or hidden captures are two factor authentication help prevent these attacks. However, it is essential to continue researching and developing new capture defenses to stay ahead of the attackers. Thank you everyone for your time and attention. It was an honor to have an opportunity to share our knowledge and insight on capture tracking attack.